Hello my friends, it's Terry from with Terry's Mailbox and today I am posting a my first tag of 2022 for the Funky Junkie Boutique. So you can see here I've used the Perspective Butterfly and lots, lots of layers. I've got embossing paste, I've got crackle embossing paste, I've got stencils, I've got stamps, um, and then of course that gorgeous butterfly on the top. So I started by cutting out the Perspective Butterfly. I love this die. This thing is just gorgeous and very detailed, just poking out all the extra pieces that got left there. Um, but this is a cool die because again, you can use it in as a whole, you can cut it, you can have it floating in from the side on a card. And I painted the corner of the Etc. tag gray so that I can use a background corner die to cut out um, that particular piece. Uh, to expose it. So right now I'm using the, the Villainous Purple, Old Paper, um, Bundled Sage. Again, I love the Bundled Sage and the Purple combination. So again, just kind of running my fingers through here. And I have a piece of Distress uh, Heavyweight White Cardstock. So I'm going to start just playing with layers here, um, ink smooshing, drawing, adding some more, um, more color onto it. I added a few ink, uh, distressing sprays onto the top here to really give it more dimension and more depth. So as you can see here, I'm just drying it out. And I just, I love layering and ink smooshing is like one of my favorite techniques. I just think it's um, just way too much fun. So again, once I get that dry, I grabbed the Villainous Purple again and kind of, you know, just stamped it on my mat and I'm running my fingers through because what I want from this is just drips. Um, if I would have left the, you know, the, the uh, stamp down like it was, I'd had to have a big box in the middle of my project. So again, adding some more water, letting it, uh, letting it move around, and then I will grab my heat tool and dry it off. So again, um, Here's where I'm just kind of getting the excess off the corners. And so now I'm back to the butterfly. I cut the, um, the body of the butterfly out in black because I really wanted it to stand out. So again, I've got the uh, villainous purple, I've got shaded lilac, I've got antique linen, just kind of um, doing an ombre type of um, ink blending on that perspective butterfly. So again, I kind of didn't want him all one color. So I kind of added in some, you know, additional, additional layers there. And you can see that I, I put the, um, shaded lilac towards the outside and you'll see, I changed my mind, um, when I started to put it all together. But again, here I'm just, uh, ink, ink blending the distress inks, there's, there's the finished blended. And so I grabbed one of the um, purple mica sprays that came out. This was for Halloween, I believe. And I'm just kind of putting some drips on it. Something a little different. I just, I love to add texture to my projects. And so there, I'll go ahead and add that body on there and set it aside. So here I've got that, um, that piece of Distress Heavyweight cardstock and I've got my etc. tag. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of draw a pendle line all the way around the perimeter and then I'll go ahead and cut it down so that I can attach it with collage medium. So again, just kind of getting it ready and I'll cut it, trim it down using my guillotine trimmer. I love these things. I've got all four of them. I, <laughs> I use these things all the time. They are just, um, just wonderful to use. So again, just kind of trimming the, trimming the corners there. And then my piece is ready to go. And so then I'm using this corner die. Um, it's one of the Oh gosh, I don't know if I have it on here. Um, yeah, I don't have the number on here. I'll have to add it uh, on my blog post. And then I also pulled out some of my stencils um, to use. One is the Art Deco Arch stencil and the other one kind of as a combination. It had both that uh, lacy corner, but again, I'm just, I'm 
just kind of choosing uh, different areas of the tag to add add the stencils to. And I'm using hickory smoke and um, the purple again. So then I decided I needed to, to grab one of the um, one of the faded type uh, stamps, or a couple of them actually, to add again some more dimension and layers on the background of this particular tag. This is just fun. I'm having a great time. Here is the um, ledger script tag. This is one of my absolute favorites. I use this thing all the time to add just kind of, you know, script word in the background. So you can see it's very faint. You almost can't see it. Um, but again, that's, that's another layer that I put on there. So now I'm kind of holding up the butterfly and taking a look at it here. And I'm thinking I need to add some more darker colors, which I'll do later. Right now I've got texture paste and another lacy uh, lacy background and again I'll list all these on my blog so again just fun and I decided I wanted to colorize this so again I grabbed the uh, bundled sage took me a few you know smooshes of the ink to get it to the color that I wanted to um, but again here I am adding that down on the bottom right corner and this is actually a crackle um, crackle paste, which once it dries and I've got collage medium over it, I grabbed the villainous uh, purple crayon and colored in some of the cracks just to add, again, another layer. This is layer after layer after layer of fun. So again, there, there's that section done. So here I'm playing with my butterfly again and eh, thinking I need to make him darker. So I was really only worried about the one side because I was going to have him coming in from the side and I am going to trim him off. So again, just kind of adding some of that, that deeper purple so that again, the butterfly would really pop off of that very textured background. And so kind of playing with the, playing with the, ink, the body, I finally decided to attach it on there. So I've got the body attached, and then I decided to pull in my very, very old um, stamp set. This is Fairy Tale Frenzy. It's number 58. Oh my gosh, he's in the 300s, I think, now. So again, this is, um, wanted to add some more um, texture interest on the back of the card, so I am using Archival Ink at this point. This is the Hickory Smoke Archival Ink. And again, I'm just kind of stamping it in a couple of different places. Kind of gives it more, uh, more texture, more interest. Look at that. I'm loving this. Next thing I did was I grabbed the Bundle Sage Distress Oxide and I wanted to ink blend a background for my sentiment, which also is coming from that Fairy Tale Frenzy uh, stamp set. So again, the theme was, was old and new. So, um, you know, I went back to, I think, one of my um, oldest, oldest stamp sets. And you can see here, I stamped it with a hickory smoke and then decided that wasn't dark enough. So I went back and got out the black suit um, archival ink. So again, just kind of making it real here. So here I'm going to go ahead and just color in the um, the seam binding. I love this stuff. I have a gigantic roll that I I have, and I often, if you look over my um, my posts, I have uh, I use these uh, these stamps and this use these seam binding. Sorry to create. Um, to create bows often. So it requires a lot of smooshing and crunching and drying and you end up with really inky fingers, but it is, um, it is fun to do this. All right, so got that done. So I'm back to my perspective butterfly and I decided to go ahead and um, spray him with the uh, resist spray. I wanted him to be a little bit shiny, a little bit um, heavier, um, you know, add some more texture to him. So I sprayed him and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm using collage medium here again, finishing up the tag. So you can see here I've got all kinds of dimension and fun stuff in here and I'm just going to go ahead and add, um, add the butterfly. So I've got the butterfly on there. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and play with the play with the bow and get the bow on here. Um, you can see that you know I threw the center there because I cut out that. I don't have much to trim before I can add the bow. So there's the bow. Here is my final tag. Again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Instagram, Blogger, Facebook, and YouTube. Would love to have you subscribe. Have a great day.